Hello everybody, Mike Brailsford, Brailsford Works. Thank you for joining me back on my channel. Today I got a product review. I've got the Benchtop Harbor Freight Lathe. It's a 12 by 18, nope, 10 by 18, I beg your pardon, uh, lathe. And uh, I'm gonna put it through its paces. So let's open it up. I've already cut it. Let's see, got the owner's manual for me to ignore. styrofoam for me to be buried with later on and let's see we've got the lathe itself get it out of here it is heavy it is cast iron right yeah so we got here a lathe I've got it backwards of course but you'll be able to see it better. What else do we got in here? We've got a knock rod. And let's see, in the bag. We have a live center. We've got a spur drive, and this is a number two Morse taper. And let's see, what on earth is this? Oh, this is the handle for the tailstock, the crank, and three Allen wrenches. All right, let's take a closer look. All right, let's see. Got a little. See, a little teeny tool rest. It's got a very small post. I'd say that's probably half inch. Maybe, maybe a little more. Let me see. How about we measure it for sure? And it is bigger than half inch. Looks like it's five eighths. That's a small, uh, it's a small tool rest. Also comes with a face plate, and tail stock. Let me spin this around so I can work on it. Let's see, is there a way to lock? Headstock. I'm going to take that off. No. no. Looks like that's a one inch by eight thread on the headstock. Let me see. Let me test that. I have a one inch. Oh, yeah. There we go. So I've already got chucks that can work here. Yeah, I gotta find some way to lock this. The first thing, let's first, let's put the crank on. <laughs> That's funny. They give you three Allen wrenches, but this requires a flathead screwdriver. All right, that works. All right, let's see if there is, in fact, a way to lock the head. Lots and lots of warnings. Warning, 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 warning. Yes, it does not have a way to lock the headstock. Well, that's fine, I mean, as long as I know that. Yep. Do, 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 do. better. Whoops. All right. So let's do a quick test to see how accurate the head is on here. First off, that does seem to lock it pretty good. Okay. 
get this closer to being tight up there. Yeah, it's better like that. All right. That way it's out of the way of my lock lever. Now let's put the spur drive in and let's check the accuracy of the lathe itself. And I will tell you that is actually closer than my Laguna, believe it or not. Wow, that's uh, pretty good. And uh, I'm uh, holding it, and I'm not getting any deflection. That That's uh, maybe a little bit right there if I rock it a little bit, but that's actually in the, that's actually the wheel itself. No, it's actually feeling pretty good. All right. So let's plug this in and see what that does. And let's turn around and see how fast it is. I don't know if that is set on fast or slow, actually. So adjusting the speed and having to use an Allen wrench, that's kind of a drag, but you know, this lathe was $279, came to $290 something with tax. Um, that's actually not too bad. That's better. All right, let's close our covers up. I'm going to turn between centers, so I am going to put this back up to the high speed. And we're going to check this baby out. All right, let's check that again. Oh, yeah, that's higher. Okay, good, good, good. Now, I am going to round off this block of Bradford pear, and I'm going to see about making maybe a couple, see how it would be to make some tops on this one. That's good. Knock it out. Because I'm thinking, I the reason I bought this is that I, I'm contemplating bringing this with me to shows, and not some shows, and doing some, you know, maybe some tiny bowls and. Uh, and perhaps tops for sure in front of people. That looks pretty good. Put this here. So I'm going to round this off, try this for the first time. turned fairly smoothly I mean it is a very tiny tool rust so I mean that's got to be taken into account and I have it you know being up on this bench it's way higher than I normally have it so it takes a little getting used to but... All right, so far in spindle turning, it did great. I'm taking the chuck off now, and I'm going to use the face plate and get a little blank and see if I can rough out a, a little bowl real quick. Okay, so I've got a piece of teak actually chucked up in here. I've got my 5 8 bowl gouge. I'm ready to go. And let's get this thing rounded out. I've got the speed turned down. Let's see what the speed ranges are. Woo! I got it at 1600 RPM. Uh, normally I would consider that very fast, but this is a small piece. 
and I think we can do all right. I turned it on already and it seemed very balanced, so. All right, I can already see where having a, you're making sure your tools are very sharp will be critical with this because if they're dull, it's just gonna dig in and it's not gonna move for you, so. put on a little teeny tenon on there. cleanup cut on this. You know, this is not bad. <laughs> it, it, it's not that bad, honestly. All right, I'm gonna give this a little sanding and then we'll turn it around. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna burn this edge. See how that, see how this little motor stands up to that. Did just fine. So if I take these to sh take this to shows and I do turning, it'll be mainly tops and maybe little teeny bowls like this. So it's really um, the 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 speed is not going to be that big an issue because there are things that'll be turning on that are very small. So let's follow this bowl out. for turning a little bowl like this I'm gonna have to take this tailstock off and it's got it's got a plate on the back that'll prevent me from taking it off so I'm gonna take off the plate all right now I can turn it
so I've got my little teak bowl turned. It did just fine. So I think that if I'm at the shows and I bring this, and I'm able to bring this, um, the tops and little things like this will be what I make. Um, I'm going to keep it very simple. I have a lot of teak, so it actually works uh, to do something like this because this is a very forgiving wood to turn. And all you got to do is throw a little oil on it. You're good to go. All right. So um, I would say for the money, um, it's, uh, it's, it's well worth the money, honestly. It's, it, was, it was very cheap. Uh, the closest thing I could see was a Rickon uh, that had the manual speed change like this, and it is uh, $500. And if you want to jump up to the variable speed, the electronic variable speed, which I might want to do sometime in the future, but that's seven or $800, depending if you go with a 10 or a 12 inch. But, um, you know, this size is doable for craft shows. I can make myself a little table get it down to the height I want, put a screen in the front of it to contain the chips. You don't want, you don't want people uh, suing you because they got a wood chip in their eye. So, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I think this is, uh, well worth the money. Um, the spindle was dead on accurate as far as I could see. Um, I mean, I didn't do any custom, instruments to figure it out but point to point it was right on the money and uh the the belt changes are not all that difficult to do um it's not like you know turning a knob but it's uh it's not it's not undoable um the uh so the speed ranges are 750 to 3200 which is, uh, you know, that's, that's fine. And everything, um, everything in this, this size, it's, it can't be that far out of, out of balance to make this thing run all over the place. And they give you a little, <laughs> they give you a little recommendation here. Um, they say zero to two inches or the, is the high speed to, 3200, uh, two to three inch, 1600 to 2200, three to four inch, 1100 to 1600, four to five inch, 750 to 1100, and of course six inches plus is 750, which, um, I mean, if that's what your options are, then I would concur with that. All right, thank you all for watching. Please click like and subscribe if you think you've gotten anything out of this. Also, leave me some comments, tell me what you think. I know there are people out there who have, uh, just abhor harbor freight but um you know they bring a lot of tools to a lot of people who otherwise couldn't afford it and with for that i salute them and i go there quite frequently um all their bower tools for me have been great uh no complaints at all and um yeah i, I like them all right so tell me what you think uh is this the kind of thing you would if you wanted to try turning, is this the kind of thing you'd get or not? Let me know. Thank you all for watching again. Uh, Y'all have a good evening. Bye-bye.